everybody. I hope you're all well. And I have been promising you this video for a while, but I literally have just caught up on my list of things to do a few months later. So this evening I have decided to make a video of the abdominal workout that I do. This is my workout that I do every day. Well, not every day. I do it every second day. I used to do it every day. But now my core is super strong. I'm very proud of my core. I still have some loose skin from when I was overweight, but my core is very, very strong. And this is the exact routine that I follow. I'm gonna walk you through the moves that we're going to do. So we're going to do some basic crunches. We're gonna do a Pilates 100, cause I like to cross train my moves. So I do a lot of cross training between weight training, resistance training, and Pilates. So we're gonna do your basic crunch, we're gonna do 100. Now we're going to do a straight leg, single leg pull. We're going to then do some toe taps. We're going to do some Pilates scissors. Then we're going to do some single leg raises and I'm gonna show you how to progress them because I really like them. They're pretty much doable for most people. Then we're gonna do some side crunches. Then we're gonna do a bicycle and then we're going to do some crisscross. Um, so that's nine moves. I usually do 12 reps of each and I usually do this mini circuit or this round twice every second day or every time before I go for a walk, I'll spend about 10 minutes doing this and then I'll go for my walk to help improve blood flow to my abdominal area so that I can keep my stomach nice and flat. So we're gonna move on. Our first move is a crunch. Now in time, this is gonna be a walkthrough. So when you watch this a few times, you're gonna to skip to the end where I do the whole routine with you. In time, if you want, I'll just make it just the whole routine twice, how I do it without speaking at all, if that's what you guys want. So first off, <laughs> the abdominal crunches. <coughs> so you don't have to use a mat, I like to use a mat. So you're gonna lie down nice and flat on the ground. You're going to flatten out your back and feel where your bra line is. So feel your bra line. Draw your abs down or engage your abs. Place your fingertips on your earlobes. Lengthen your neck so your chin tucks in naturally. So here's my bra line. All I want to do is work my upper abs. So I'm just going to come up over my brow line and keep my lower abs or my lumbar section on the ground. So I'm going to do that 12 times. I'm just going to come up and then I'm going to release. Next, I'm going to go into a Pilates 100. So I'm going to extend my legs out. There's three progressions to this. You can do extension. So this is the advanced Pilates legs. You can do reverse tabletop which is bringing your knees to a right angle, your hips are still at a right angle, or you can do mermaid legs. So your knees are together and your toes are apart. So that creates that fin look. So again, you're gonna come up over your bra line, engage your core, extend your arms out, pull into your lats, and we're gonna pulse for one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, holding this position, Every exhale is a squeeze. We're gonna do that for 12 breaths. Then next, we're gonna do a sit, straight leg, single leg pulse. So I'm going to do this leg. Hands back on earlobes, one leg out, one leg in. And for 12 times, we're gonna go. We're just gonna pulse. Okay, so we're gonna do both legs. Then the next, we got some toe taps. So you're gonna bring your legs straight up over your hips. Your legs may not straighten as much as mine. It depends on quad strength and the flexibility of the hamstrings. So if you're like this, that's okay. Or you can even scoot your butt towards the wall. But we're gonna reach across and across and across and across. So we're gonna do that. It'll be 24 in total because you're doing 12 on each side. 
Then after that, we're going to do Pilates scissors. So you got one leg up, one leg comes out. Engage your abs as the leg lengthens out. Again, how straight your leg will get will depend on your core strength or your quad strength and your hamstring flexibility. So if you only get here, that's fine. Or if you get here, that is also fine. Once you're getting a stretch, and we're going to swap one, two, one, two. So that will be one, two, one, two. So you're getting a lot of core work and a nice bit of mobility and stretching going on there. So after we've done the scissors, we're going to do a single leg raise, 12 on each leg. So you're going to extend one leg out, keep one leg bent, hands by your side, looking up at the ceiling. You're just going to lift and slowly lower and lift and lower for 12. What I like to do on this, and as you get advanced, I'll usually wear ankle weights for this whole routine. I forgot to say that. So I'll have four pounds here on my ankles and that'll lift and lower and that'll work my lower belly a lot more so that pelvic region or and or because i've done it with both before i'll bring in a medicine ball you can also use dumbbells i'll bring in a medicine ball so as my leg comes up my arm comes up and i reach back and up and then i'll swap and i'll do that 12 times on the other leg so back and back so i'm not hitting the ground with the medicine ball but I'm going full extension. My elbows are a little bit bent and I'm using my shoulders or my lats to pull the ball back in. So that's my leg. Then I'm going to do a side crunch. So from here, I'm just gonna drop my knees to the left. I've got my left hand comes out towards my knees. My right hand comes back up to my ears. I'm looking straight ahead and I'm gonna come straight forward. So I'm coming up and down for 12 working my abdominals here or my obliques here so look at this so from here crunch and lower and then i'm going to flip and i'm going to do the other side right hand comes out towards my knees to keep me in alignment hand up to my ear up and down up and down for 12. then back onto my back i'm coming into bicycle my hands come to my ears, both knees come in, inhale, and I'm gonna take my left elbow to my right knee, and I go one, two, three, four, and so on. So that will be 24 in total, because it's 12 on each side. Then next, I'm going to go into the last move, which is the crisscross. I'm going to relax down. Okay, here's some modifications because a lot of people will struggle with this, especially if they have a weak core or back issues. So if you're advanced, you're just going to put your hands by your side on the mat. You're going to extend your legs out. You can bring your head up to engage those upper abs. And you're just going to crisscross for 24. Now, if that's too tough, you can hold on to the mat so that will take your weight so that you get some support and you don't have to even go as low you can just go up higher if that's easier or you'll create a diamond and you'll place that under your tailbone that will elevate your hips a little and you can maneuver your hand around until it's comfortable for you when you elevate your hips you take a lot of pressure off the low back will you still work in the lower abs and now from here this should be easier with your hips supported and elevated that bit. So that is the routine that we're going to do. I'm going to do the whole lot with you now, just one full round. This is the speed I would like you to do it at. Once you master doing it one round, then you can rewind and you can do it two rounds, or you can ask me to make you a video that does the full two rounds. Um, so we're going to come back onto our back. We're going to do the whole round. So 12 reps of each exercise. Okay. So onto your back. Let's lower yourself down. 
Let's position ourselves, abs in. Where's my bra line? Fingertips here. We're going to exhale and lift in three, two, one. So 12, 11, 10, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs up or into reverse tabletop or mermaid. Up and three, two, one, let's go. One, two, one, two. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Down into straight leg, single leg pulse. Three, two, one, relax. One leg out, one leg in. Three, two, one. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 1, swap. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Four, three, two, one. Legs up and reach. Twelve, eleven, ten. Twelve, eleven, ten. Three, two. One from here, scissors four, three, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, go for the stretch, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep going, let's do two more sets. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. From here, relax down, single leg stretch. Straighten out, hands by your side, three, two, one. Lift and lower. Lift, lift, lift. Lift, seven more. Just take your time, lowering. Three, two, one, and swap. Four, three, two, one, twelve. Ten. Nine, eight, three, two, one. Drop the knees to the side. One hand up, one hand up. Three, two, one. Twelve. Five, straight forward, four, three, two, one, swap, four, three, two, one, going straight ahead towards the wall. Four more, four. Three, two, one. 
bicycles onto your back, knees in, four, three, two, one, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, three, two, one, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees in. Adjust yourself, hands by your side or diamond under your butt or hold the mat. We're going into crisscross. Extend the legs, four, three, two, one, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. So at this stage, you would take a quick breather, about 30 seconds to a minute, get your breath, and you do the whole round again. This exercise routine, or this little circuit, is very effective, especially if it's done consistently. So enjoy, let me know if you have any questions about the moves or you need progressions or regressions to go backwards. Okay, let me know and be good. Bye.